Hi, this is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to show you what to do when you're trying to hook up a power server to the HMC and you're getting a message that says failed authentication. Now, this is going to happen when you don't have access into the ASMI, you don't have the admin password, you don't have the H HMC access password. And I'm going to explain what you can do to get those passwords reset so you can get your power server hooked up into the HMC. Now, there's a couple of scenarios where you'll run into this. Um, if you bought a used server um, online or, or, or through other means, um, you might not get the passwords with it. Um, another time you might run into this is if you're moving a server from one location to, to another and hooking up to a new HMC and you don't know what the existing passwords are. So you have two main options to get these passwords reset. Um, the first one and the easy way is if you're under IBM maintenance, you want to call IBM support and they'll generate a temporary 24-hour CE login password for you. You can log in through the ASMI and then reset your admin password and your HMC access passwords. Now, you can only use that, though, if you have IBM support. If you don't have IBM support, there's still a way you can get the password reset, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Another problem you might run into um, if you're in this scenario is you might not know what the IP address is on the service processor and you're going to need the IP address in order to get it connected to the HMC to even try to you know, log in with the HMC access password. So I'll show you what to do if you have a, a used server that you just bought, how to find the service processor IP address. The first step, you're going to want to go, now let me throw in one other thing too. This is a Power 5 um, 9131 server. These steps might be a little bit different. If you're running a different model server, so you're going to want to look this up. But this, you know, it's the same general idea. So the first step is I'm going to put the control panel here. This is on the front of the server into manual mode. So on this model, I go up to number two, push over, push over again. I'm on the in. I'm going to hit up, and it's on M. Now it's in manual mode. What this does is it unlocks all the capabilities of this control panel. Once you're in manual mode. Um, you need to be careful because there, there is stuff you can do, like you can shut off the server easily and you know do other things that are disruptive. So once you're in manual mode, you need to be careful what you're doing in here. All right, so now that we're in manual mode, we're going to go up to option 30. And I'm going to hit over, and then up, and then over. Okay, and then you can see here it's displaying the service processor IP address. So this is really handy, like I said, if you have a new server and it perhaps has a static IP address set and you're not sure what it is. This is how you can find out what the IP address is so you can get it um, initially try to connect it to the HMC. Now this is what you'll see from the HMC if you're in this situation. You'll have your managed system and it'll be in a failed authentication status with a reference code of incorrect password. Now, if you have the admin ASMI password, all you need to do at this point is just launch ASMI, log in as admin, and then you can reset your HMC access password. But if you don't have the admin password, and you don't have the HMC access password, and you don't have IBM support to get the CE login password, then keep watching and I'll show you how to reset the service processor passwords from a hardware perspective. So what we're going to do um, in this case is we're going to remove the service processor to reset the passwords. Now, like I said before, you only want to do this if you don't have IBM support. If you have IBM support, just call them, get the CE password generated, and do it that way. Um, if you don't have IBM support, this is what you need to do to reset the, the uh, service processor passwords. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the service processor out of the server, flip a couple of dip switches, which will reset the, the memory on it, and then we'll reinstall it, and it'll be back to the default passwords. Just a quick warning here. If you have a lot of... LPARs, Define, and VIO, etc. on this managed system, there's a possibility you might lose the partition profile data during this process. So you want to make sure you have some kind of method to be able to recreate your partition profile data if needed on this managed system. In my testing, um, I did not lose the LPAR partition profile data during this process, but there's a possibility you might depending on your specific situation and your model and firmware versions, etc. So I'd make sure you have some way to recreate the partition profile data if needed. Okay, so I put on my static wrist strap um, here since I'm going to be inside the server. Um, I unplugged the server power. 
And I'm also going to unplug the network cables from the service processor because we're going to pull that whole card out so you don't want to have things plugged into it when you pull it out. All right, and pull off the cover. Okay. Now, this. This will be different in different model servers. Um, this particular one is a 9131 Power 5. Um, like I said, in different servers, different models, this will be a little bit different. But in this particular model, this right here is the service processor. So I'm going to pop these two blue tabs up, pull them up, and then up and out. And then this is the service processor here. On this model, you can see there's two little dip switches right there. What we're going to do is we're going to flip these to the opposite side, both of them. So I'm going to set this down for one second. Get out my pocket knife. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take these two dip switches. Let's flip one. Let's flip two. And what you want to do is flip them to the opposite direction. If they're up, flip them down. If they're down, flip them up. Okay, so now um, we're going to install this back in here. But first, real quick, so this is the entire service processor. You can see this is your HMC1, HMC2 connection. And this is actually an embedded computer that's running Linux. And this is in every service, or in every power server. So now that we have these DIP switches set, I'm going to install the service processor back into the server. plug back in our connection to the HMC and our power cords. And I'm going to put the cover back on the server. Okay, the server's booted back up at this point, and we are still in the failed authentication state. So what we need to do is go over here, click the box, hit the over arrow, and go into launch ASMI. Okay, and what we'll do here is we'll log in with the admin account, and since we reset the service processor, all the passwords are back to the default. The default password for the admin account is admin. So we'll log in with user ID admin, password admin. Okay, once we're in, the, the service processor is going to force us to change the admin password from the default. So we'll click on change password. We'll type in our current password, which is admin. And then we'll type in whatever we want the new password to be set to. And then click continue. Okay, at this point we're going to go down to login profile. and click change password and we're going to hit the drop down and change this to HMC we're going to type in the admin password that we just set and we're going to type in the password we want to set for the HMC access and then click continue alright now we're going to go back to the HMC hit the over arrow and then go to update password and then here we'll type in whatever we had just set as the HMC access password and then hit OK. And what it's going to do is connect to the HMC and this will take a minute. Okay, at this point um, it's, it's now saying pending authentication. And so what we need to do here is go down and click update password. And what it's doing here is we, we didn't change the ASM general password, so it's going to force us to change that. So we'll just go ahead and type in whatever we want that password to be set to. And then we'll click finish. And then it's going to connect again, and this will take another few seconds for it to connect in. So at this point, the managed system is now connected to the HMC, and we are good to go. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please let me know.